Anna, to the left! Under the car, now! Crest, there! Lock on them! Grenade, get to cover! They're moving in along the road! We have to flank them before they spread out and set a big kill zone here! Move it! I'll give you cover! Got them, Sandstorm! They sure know how to arrive unnoticed! Hello, my friend. Totally radical job you did there. All this rejoicing over mere water. Must say, I love this taste of rust in the morning already, though. <laughs> Tastes like... victory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, poor bastards. We crushed them completely. We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. 
We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with him. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we'll have to run them through the whole carriage. They should. Our pumps aren't that good. Can't build much of a pressure, so I, I don't expect leaks. Some seepage at worst. Uh, once we get far enough, we'll move the pipes to the Artyom, roof. Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but there's ones. one thing that keeps nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about the slaves they keep there. Do you think we could still free them? If not us, then who? <sighs> So tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Well, you're on top of things, having so many spare parts, Blin. Even pipes! And you brought them from Moscow! <laughs> it never hurts to have more spares. Besides, I just knew they'd come in handy. Hansa supplied every sortie so well, we could build a second engine with the spares. Yeah, we could build a second one, but didn't have enough to fix the first at the Volga. Well, you can't foresee everything. Hi, Artyom! Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Oh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. But yeah, man. You'd better keep both your eyes open out there. The cavalry will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking unnecessary risks.
Artyom, Gul and I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. You people are lucky. Most of the Munai Baile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Nastia, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to take a look what happened here. Can't I see? Let's go back to the train, Nastia. Nothing to see here. Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I swear. Hmm, all right. Colonel, sir. Check complete. All attackers are confirmed dead. Got it. Are Kretz and Yormak on the lookout for more guests? They are. All right. In that case, help the people break camp. We're moving out soon. Yes, sir.
Listen up, everyone. The Baron... Fuck off, dumbass. All right. Everyone in second reserve. Assemble at the rig.
Ah, you again, young man. It's a pleasure, a real pleasure. The guards can leave. I said leave! Cretans, can't even talk to my guest in private. What was I going to say? What else? Ah, it came back. Everything must look natural after all. Duel will kill the accursed Baron. The oppressed people will rebel. They will be headed by the new leaders of the Resistance. Duel will by right take the tyrant's place. Many of his old flunkies will swear allegiance to her. At that moment, she will discover that in addition to their freedom, the slaves will have gained hunger and thirst. <laughs> Ghoul knows nothing of the effort it takes to supply all my subjects with the barest of necessities. And when they, dying of hunger, with parched throats, start praying for the holy flame to save them, I will rise from the dead. <laughs> and I will be their salvation. Such is the will of the Holy Flame, young man. Such is the will of the universe. The Holy Flame. When did I get the idea, I wonder? It's a great idea, too. Uh, eh, no matter, as long as I had it. Well, I must give credit where credit is due. You don't waste time. Was it you who stole our water, Bowser? No. Don't bother denying it. I know everything. Well, hey, no harm, no foul. The slaves will have to drink a bit less for some time. That's all. Do you really expect my double would even consider not topping up his swimming pool over that trifle? <laughs> Power must dazzle with extravagant displays of affluence. Even the comedian sitting on my throne understands this. <laughs> All the slaves will have to die of thirst before the Baron cuts his morning shower time to half an hour. For such is the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> the main lesson from this fiasco will be learned by the cretins that let you pull this heist off. And a Bowser is a minuscule price to pay. If that makes them to start treating the task of guarding the only source of fresh water in the area with due diligence. The lesson made even more convincing by the punishment you personally delivered to the culprits in question. I must say, <laughs> thank you for acting on my behalf. <laughs> Well, as far as I can see, you've been keeping busy. Huh. Freeing the slaves, what a noble pursuit. Now, having had their fill of freedom in the desert, with no equipment or protection from mutants, the survivors will finally understand what it is they really need. A human is, essentially, a simple being with very basic needs. Some food and water, a modicum of protection from the desert of reality that surrounds us, and what is most important, purpose. Serving the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well... I guess I'll have to call it a day for now. So many things to take care of.
was the better. No, 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 no. Piss off. Sure, sure, sure. I don't, I don't want everyone. Let the boys have some sleep. There's stuff to do tomorrow. It's that piece of shit corner. I kind of. <laughs> yes, it's him that I want. Though that one, that comic would do too. Yes, you'll do. You, the asshole driving around in a car, killing my boys. You motherfucker, listen to me. So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So how, how do you find it? You probably think that we are tyrants, beasts even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that cue, the witch. But I see you are not a complete idiot. So you do understand, deep down. You do understand. There is no other way. Man is a beast. A beast! You just let the man run free, and it's a murder spree! Remove the restraint of power and law, and everything turns to the law of the jungle. It's always a bloodbath. A total bloodbath. There must be power. Must be law and order. Belief. Civilization. Don't you see? Because without law, without God, Everything is permitted. When they bring a new slave in, he's a total savage. They live in fucking caves now. Forgot everything. What do they get? Life as a hungry ape. A bunch of sickly kids and a death in a demon's stomach. That's it. I give them purpose. They work. They serve. They build. They build a civilization. And you... You want to destroy it, you motherfucker! Destroy my civilization, you piece of shit! Fuck you! You get what I mean. Get that car while you can. I'm getting a drink. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy. Great. See you up there. Let's go. 
Godomir. Last blood, Artyom. Please. No use. Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here, all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make sweat, more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go after dog! <laughs> Understand, dog not pity. They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. Little dog can't grow. Get eaten by other dog. Yeah, you shut up, you fuck! Shut up now! Let me sleep, you fuck! Fuck! Tell shut up! I'm making head from you, fuck! Damn dog, fuck! I was worried for nothing. I have good news! Look, the tank is full! Just what we need! Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands.
Open the gate! Then let our guests in! I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Come on! We won't even touch you! Look. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but the there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're, we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. Wants to talk. What the fuck are you saying? Tom, there's too many it's of like them It's like fucking here. One more word about that bitch kill! Get over here. Call him over because he has a top. Go around, around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Uh, a penthouse, that's the word. Ha! You must be one of the train gang! Uh, you guys came in at the right time. They don't take kindly to strangers in the best of days. And now, with all this shit you stirred up? <laughs> well, put it this way. <laughs> Be careful driving that thing around here. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty of fucking blind or what? Well, you just this fucking pull it! Sort of Put your back into it! Yeah. Why the fuck did we feed you? Yeah, I'm sorry, master! I'm your slave! Was not on purpose! <laughs> I'd choose Shut up. any day. Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Enemy, come here. I kill that enemy. Make come on. What's taking so long? Come over here already. What the fuck are you? Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank Master's water. Gotta give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! The water is for people! Ah, you for the master! Do you get it? <laughs> hey! You! Get your ass over here! Yes, Ulu Mursa. Come on, up the ladder with you! Throw this the piece of shit out of here! Throw it away! Right now! Yes, yes, Ulu Mursa! It's one of those new arrivals. Come to meet the boss here. What the hell is that even a dance? Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Now find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. 
I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? The Gyul has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He locked it! From the other side! The coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want to see it! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready! We must kill these dogs! The bitch is there! to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attack! I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. 
We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? <sighs> Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. 
Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later.
What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Of a moving fortress out of this enormous dark sea. Sit somewhere nearby. We've finished nearby. all the drinks wow, already. That's a way to start. <laughs> Take a seat. Don't be sticking. Of course. So what did I miss? Track with boiler plates. You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. The moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and four thousand clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings! Stepan, Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, worse, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. 
In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said it How can you blown. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is famous. Well, Artyom's getting chewed up today. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... 
Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Great to you! To you. Oh, yeah! Stefan, will you play just that song like about us? Easy as pie. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Colonel, sir. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over.
whole situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me! guys caught your friend, but I can see you're torn not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> 